Welcome back to Ron Zeif, welcome to the channel. Today is the day we install my new Borla exhaust system. There she is. This one here is for the 6.2 liter. This is the model number I chose, it's the S-Type. So you have Touring, you have S-Type, and you have the Attack exhaust. The S-Type fits right in the middle, so it's aggressive without being obnoxious. Uh, so we'll have a closer look at that in a moment. But let's uh, fire up the truck and listen to the stock exhaust. I would call it a cold start, but it's pretty hot today. Even though we're here in the middle of Canada, believe it or not, it's you know plus 30 degrees Celsius, which doesn't happen that often, but a little bit of a heat wave. Anyway, we'll have a listen to that, and then we'll open this up, have a closer look, make sure everything's here. So let's go. We're going to change all that today. Here's the uh, model number that I have. So it lists all the parts. Here's the configuration. So we need to make sure all these parts are here before we take off the old exhaust. We don't want to be missing any pieces. Looks like everything is here. So now we just have to take off the old exhaust. Wish me luck. All right, there you go. As you can see, we got the old equipment out. There's the old stock exhaust. This is very heavy. The new one's gonna be quite a bit lighter. So we're gonna put the new stuff in. We're not gonna tighten it all down perfectly yet until we get everything lined up just the way that we want. And then we'll clamp it all down, tighten it all up, and then we'll do that first cold start. Let's go.
right, we got it all bolted up. It turned out really, really well. It was actually simpler putting it on than taking the old one off. I love the quad black chrome exhausts. Anyway, let's do a cold start. It's still hot out, so I don't know if it's gonna be as aggressive as it would be if it was uh, first thing in the morning type of thing. Um, but then we'll take the truck out, we'll listen to some sounds from the inside, and I'll do some passes from the outside, and let's see what you guys think. Let's go. Pretty quiet inside which I like I'm glad that I'm not hearing a bunch of drone I mean when I give it some acceleration you can hear it kick in obviously but that's about a third throttle there but uh, yeah so far so good we're gonna get up to some highway speeds here and uh, get some impressions there and I'll do some drive-bys and we'll wrap up this video okay there's another test I remembered I wanted to try so I have the auto start stop eliminator installed but part of the reason I got that installed was so when I came to a intersection, if I had forgotten to disable it, I didn't want my vehicle to shut off and then kick in with a brand new exhaust once I installed it and sound really stupid. So let's just see or replicate what that would be like. So we're just coming up to a stop here. Everything shut off. Now let's pretend it's a green light time. Not too bad, but it just pronounces it more. I'm glad I have the auto start stop eliminator installed. All right, that was our test drive. I think it went pretty good. I think it sounds absolutely amazing, but I have to attribute a part of it to the s and intake that we had put in in a previous video. So link up above if you never saw that. But now this made it to the exhaust. More air in, more air out. Happy engine, happy Dawn. So anyway, uh, I think this has the right amount of aggression. It has the right tone. I didn't hear any droning. However, when I hook up to a trailer, under load, I might get a little bit. I'll let you know how that goes. That's going to be one of my next videos is towing a rather large trailer with the airbags I just installed and let you know what I think of that. But anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.